Bubble Pop Kids here. Happy Saturday, and I hope you're in the mood for a little cuteness overload. Oh, this is like extreme cuteness overload. What is it? Oh, so excited to do this right now. I think I'm even a little more excited than the squishy chopping because my friend Colleen recently went to Japan and she brought me back tons of goodies, squishies. She also brought me back a bag of stationery, stationery erasers, all of this adorable little Japanese kawaii stuff, and even some squishy. Oh, it is Saturday morning. I woke up and Colleen popped over. She had a little bag of souvenirs. Every day she keeps bringing me more stuff. She knows I'm just in love with this. I love the little Japanese stationery, all these cutesy little things. We got tons of it. Let's take a look. Oh, what do we got here? We got cute kawaii pens. Oh yeah. We got the adorable dino egg. Okay. We got like caramel milk. Oh, this is like perfect for you. You've been collecting stationery for like abs, fair play. I do have to say, besides squishies and lip balm, stationery oh, is my soft spot. I can never pass up a cute little pen, pencil case, little erasers, and we have such a good mix here. Things I've like never even seen. So what do you guys say? We jump on into it, look at it one at a time. Do this. Yeah, Bob's, we're doing this, we're doing this like right now. I'm a little sweetie pass. We are starting. And another thing, I've been getting so many requests lately to do like an eraser stationery haul. So here we go. And this one is extra, extra special. So we're starting off with these little Iwakos. I love Iwako erasers. I think Colleen must have brought me maybe like a hundred different ones. These are the ones she gave me today. They were so cute. I don't know what this is. Maybe like little dumplings. Looks like little scoops of ice cream. It's adorable. I don't know what that is, but it looks too tasty for words. I want the real thing right now. I know that this is like a really popular like little cookie or treat. It's in the shape of a fish. It's supposed to be like a sweet treat. I don't know, it looks yummy. It's so cute. Look at that. It's got a little chocolate filling. Oh, that is a little Japanese Ichiban cake. Didn't you know that? Delicious. Chocolatey. Normally these little Iwakos are like little puzzles. Oh yeah, look at that little puzzle eraser. It's not scented, I thought maybe it was. There is the chocolate filling. That is too adorbs. Gotta start a collection of these things. Take a look at this, it's too adorbs. I don't know what it is, but like it's ridiculously cute. Look at that. Pink, the white, green. Are they dumplings or what? Maybe they're marshmallows. So cute, look at that. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe they're like little mochi cakes on a stick, but they are just too adorable for words. And look at this one. Oh, that's a dino egg, eraser kit. How adorable, I just took a good look at this. I didn't really see it before. It's like a little plastic egg, eh? And inside, look at these little tiny things. They're like little dino erasers, different colors. Ooh, there's like a T-Rex. Triceratops, they are so cute. I would never use these for erasing, just for collecting. Love those. Seriously, bubble egg with dinos inside? Best idea ever for like stationery. Look at that. I don't know why, but these little erasers are making me hungry. So the next one up, oh, so cute. I've never seen one like this. It's like a little jam jar, like a blueberries. Those tiny erasers inside. Check them out. Ooh, ooh, they're loose. Those little berries. Don't you get it, Bubble? It's like a jam jar, and you fill it with the erasers. Those little blueberries. You get it? So cute. So cute. Look at that. And your final little erasers we have here. I haven't even looked at this. Look at this cutesy little bag. Oh, I cannot take this up. I have to go on a trip over there. Colleen always goes, look at that. Popsicle. Oh, you are joking. She gave us a bag of Popsicle and Wacos. Popsicle and Wacos. <laughs> Guys, look at these little Iwakos. They are popsicle little puzzle erasers. We get like a mint chocolatey one. Ooh, this looks like a candy corn with those little Halloween colors. So, so cute. Ooh, this is probably like banana flavor. What else? Oh, the only thing better than these erasers is if these Iwakos were squishy popsicles. Can you imagine? Oh, these are so cute. I didn't think it could get any cuter than these. And then these little popsicles come along all different colors. They are icy balls. Oh, oh, I can't take it. Look at that. Oh yeah, little puzzles. Ooh, we could like switch up the colors and make different combos. That's a cute little thing to do if you're bored. Bubble, that is not a fun thing to do when you're bored. <laughs> so bad. Look at this little candy corn one. So 
so like Halloweeny. Loves it. Unbelievable. So we got that one. Ooh, this one looks so yummy. I love mint chocolate chip. Ugh. So adorbs. Look at that. All the little pieces pop off. Look at the icy blue one. This one makes me thirsty and like wants a snow cone. I don't know why. Just the icy color. Crazy. Stationary haul. We got this one here. I don't know why I would think it would be banana flavored. Like a little banana chocolate. Even mango. Making me hungry, that's for sure. There you go, Bubble. Does this make you hungry too? Five little popsicles in a row. Here's another look see at the Iwako erasers, little dinosaurs. I think out of every single thing here, my fave is still probably this little stick. It's just too realistic looking. Move along. Bubble, my fave was still the chocolate filled fish cookie. So cute. Bubble, what is this? Like Sailor Moon? Sailor Moon? So crazy. Next up on the table, this is actually not a stationary thing, but Colleen got it. I think she knows I love Sailor Moon. This is a remint box. If you're not familiar with these, you probably have seen them. They're basically like little blind boxes in Japan. They have these cute little figurines or little like mini figures. This particular one, she said, because I've never even heard of it, has little Sailor Moon birthday cakes. There's like eight different ones. It's just too, too cute. Look at these. Oh, look at the little kitty. Forget the kitty bubble, I want the chocolate. Look at that chocolate cake. Cute this little box, cute this little packaging. Let's open it, see what cake we're gonna get. <laughs> This doesn't get cuter than, ooh. Whoa. That's strawberry shortcake. Bubble, it's this one. It is this one. You got the biggest. You're lucky. Oop, and this one actually looks like we gotta put it together a little bit. All those little birthday candles. Let's do it. Oh, I love this. Little cake stand. These are like little numbers that are supposed to be birthday candles. Like, how old is Sailor Moon gonna be? Here's a little strawberry shortcake. Oh, it's so miniature. Almost looks like an eraser. Look at that thing. It's like a hard plastic. So yummy. Got some little decorations for the cake. A little kitty cat. Oh, there's like a little figurine of Sailor Moon. So tiny. These are almost the size of like happy places. A little bit bigger. Look at that purple little kitty cat. And what is this? Maybe like a little bunny. I don't know. This is the top tier of the cake. I think it's actually a wedding cake. Look at it. Let's see what's going on here. So we got the cake stand. Put this little cake, the big piece. Oh, look at all those little berries. Then I'm gonna put the second tier. And decorate it a little bit. Bubble, we get to decide how old Sailor Moon's gonna be. How about 10? 10 years old. I'll take the one and the O, pop it on the cake. Actually, I lost the O, so we're gonna make her like 12. we're making the birthday cake with a 12 candle on it and how cute is this it has these little tips they look like flames look at that so so cute I love all the little detail on these things too much look at that this is going to place Sailor Moon in the center of the cake and Jen the purple kitty cat and Jen is your pink bunny or whatever it is so there you go, Bubble Teens, your little birthday cake. I do not think I've seen anything so miniature, so detailed. It's got the candles, the little berries, even the frosting looks real. Wish it was like squishy filling. Squishy filling? Oh, please. This is good as it is. Just a regular plastic bubble. Beautiful. That's it. Back to the stationery. Now, she actually gave me in one little gift bag three different little pencil cases. I don't know which one is cuter, which one I like the most. I think probably this, just because it looks like a milk carton. So adorable, so, so decorated. Ooh, what does it say? Sweetest caramel milk. Bubble this pencil case or whatever, it's just like too insane for words. I can't even take it. So cute. I've actually never seen anything like this as like a pencil case. Take a closer look, because I don't even get it. <laughs> it looks like a bag of candy. What is it? Sweet time, but it says sweet me. Sweet me. Do you get it? Because I don't, but like it's adorable. Ooh, it's a Velcro pouch. How awesome. The chicken gums inside. Wow, this is just so, so unique. You know, it kind of has a shape like a little bag of potato chips. I don't know why it's reminding me. It says sweet me. It's got like this little monster, and inside of his mouth looks like little chiclet gums. 
so different. Normally a pencil case has a zipper. This one is like a pouch. This is cute to hold like little coupons, little cards, or stickers. Or you could use it for pens. Love that. Sumik Garashi. Bubble, I need to know what that means. Is that the Sumik Garashi little, little animals? Over here we got the Sumik Garashi. I guess that's the brand. I never heard of it. Oh, it's so adorable. Those things kind of remind me of like little Sum Sums. They each have a little cup of coffee. So, so cute. And this is like a really practical case. Just put like pencil, a pen, a little eraser. You're good to go. You don't have to carry a big bulky pencil case. Nice material. And I love the colors, like a little buttercream yellow and brown. Shona, nice. so different from this one. Oh, well, this one reminds me of vanilla pudding or like Gouda Tama. I don't know which one. So we are finally opening this one. It's so funny because when Colleen handed me this bag this morning, I thought this was candy. I had no clue. She's like, no, it's a pencil case. I saw the little zipper. I went crazy. I just think it's too, too amazing. I've never seen one like this. So are you serious? I can only see this. Like little berries, little, little peppermints, little jelly beans. So adorable. This pencil case is so super complicated. It's got all these little details going on. It's got the zipper right in the back. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna lose its shape. No, it's still square. So it looks like a carton of milk. It says caramel milk. Hmm, what's that about? Oh, caramel milk, a good taste, sweet taste. You get it, it's like caramel flavored milk, okay. Over on this side, it's red here. Over here is these little polka dots. Sweetest caramel milk. Excellent choice. Original sugar balls. Original sugar balls. 100% lots of sugar. Bubble, there's sugar in the caramel milk and honey. That's delicious. And little candies too. Is the back where you pop in your stationery? Oh, I'm gonna keep this in my purse. I think I'm gonna use it as like a little makeup case. There's so much room. Put my blush, my foundation, mascara. Get this side bubble, it's got the nutritional contents. Lovely, 50 grams. Cute, 70 grams. Sweet, three grams. Pretty, 30 grams. Fun, 65. Uh, happiness, 70 grams. Ugly, zero. Oh yeah, better be zero. Practically, what does that mean? Wait, not practically, practicality. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know, 50 milligrams. And convenient factor, 30. This is awesome. It's got all those funny little sayings there. I just can't take it. It's really cute. I'm definitely using this as a makeup case. Love it. Hey Bubble Teenies, love for you to leave a comment and let us know which pencil case you like. The milk, the Sumiko Garashi, or the Sweet Me. Let us know. Is this like eraser time? You're breaking everything up into categories, Bubble, and it's like making me dizzy. We looked at erasers, we had a little blind box, the pencil cases, and now our little category here is keychains. So, so adorable. I have never seen such little yummy looking ones. And I even have a squishy and a squishy. What's going on with this bento box? Is this real food bubble or just like imitation rice and sushi? Here's the first one. Oh, this is making me hungry. Oh, I love sushi. I could seriously eat it every single day. I love the shrimp or the California rolls. This is a keychain, if you can believe it. I don't know, I don't know where you would find something other than Japan, something so adorable like this. So the bento box has some rice, it has some like little seafoods, and some shrimp sushi. That is adorable. Oh, well this isn't just adorable, it's like groundbreaking. Look at the artwork, it looks so real. Okay, what's this? Like a pancake? Here's the next one. Now this one had a big old metal ring for your keys. This looks more like a cell phone charm. And if I can see it right, it looks like some strawberry pancakes. Ooh, look at that. It's actually super light. It's really big and very light, so you definitely could hang it. <gasps> look at that. It's got little sprinkles, three layers of pancake, and whipped cream. Bubble, if only this was real right now, or like a squishy, I would be going crazy. But like it's some kind of rubbery plastic material, but it's good. Wow, this is so, so crazy. It's so detailed. And you know what's funny? Like this red jam, it's kind of a little bit squishy. It has a squishy feel. So does the whipped cream. It's got some lemon, like lemon jelly on there. I gotta go to IHOP right now. <laughs> I gotta get something like this. We're going to IHOP, Paranto Bubble. We are ordering something like this. We're gonna bring this with us and tell them to make it. Here's a side by side of these. So different. One is like a meal, one is a dessert. Oh, but they are just so real looking. Can't get over it. 
Now this next little goodie here, this Mickey Squishy. Colleen actually went to Tokyo Disney when she went. I am so jealous. I want to go there. And she brought this back. It looks like a bag of chips with a little Mickey inside. Hello. This is the weirdest Mickey I've ever seen in my life. But he is extra cute. Look at his little ears. The funny thing about this, she said they had tons of other characters, but that you're not even supposed to open this bag and take out the squishy. You just stick this in your cell phone. This is a cell phone charm. You just hang the whole thing. That would be kind of crazy. It looks like a little bag of candy, but so cute at the same time. I just love it. Oh, it's so squish. Oh, are you joking? She brought you another gashapon. A gashapon. She's crazy. Now the thing about Japan I am so in love with is these little gumball machines, these gashapon machines. They have them all over the place. And she got me one of these. I think I could see what's in here. It is squishy. Take a look at it. Oh, look, I've had one of these before. Never pink. It is a little pudding squishy keychain. Oh, yeah. That's a little pudding squishy keychain. Oh, yeah. That's what it is. On previous shows, I've cut some of these open. I've had like the super huge pudding squishies. The little ones, I think I have like a purple or like a green. But they are so adorable. Look at this. Basically, she also told me you're not even supposed to open it. It's just like a little decoration, but I just want to open it. I want to see that squishy pudding. Open it a little. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa, that is squishy. Bubble, whoa, that is squishy. You serious? You're serious. Looks like a piggy nose. Here is the pink pudding. Ooh, it's so sticky and squishy. There's definitely not water in here. It's like a solid piece. Oh, it's so squishy. I can't take it. I love the colors. It's like a strawberry pudding. Bubba, look how it's sticking to your table. Look how crazy. But then it doesn't. It's like sticky bubble gum. Now that I'm thinking about it, you probably can't just open it. You just put the sticker back. Whenever you're bored, you just take this out. You got a little squishy to play with. Adorable. I definitely can't shop it. I can't. I love it too much. It's like one of a kind. Like, I can't read it, but I think this is one of the kind. For sure. Here's another look at the keychains. And I think out of all of these, this is still probably my favorite. Just because it's so squishy and slimy. And I love if you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of all these, which one you like. Okay, the final category in the Japanese stationery haul. Pins. So sad. We are on to the final category of all the stuff she brought me. And it is pins. Probably the most important part of a stationery haul. These are so cute to pop in those little uh, pencil cases. Ooh, we got a fog pack. We do got a fog pack. Let's take a look. Oh, was it five for a dollar or what? Probably was. I unwrap the plastic. Ooh, get a closer look. Look at these. They are so light. I don't know how they write, but they're so lightweight. Got little angel wings. Oh, look at this one. The little bunny rabbit. Oh, it says skim purr. What does that mean? Does that mean bunny in Japanese? Another pink one. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Look at this little rainbow with the cloud. It's blue. That's a cute one. We get this brown little monkey. Kiki. Oh, Kiki means monkey in Japanese. Don't you know that? And then we get this one. Ribbit, ribbit. Little yellow froggy pen. It's my fave. It is blue ink, Bubba. Your fave. And smooth. What do you know? It writes in this beautiful blue. Oh, it's such a cute color. I like black pens, but I love the blue ink. Very smooth, very sharp point. These are good. Oh, let me try the rainbow one. Maybe it writes in like pink or something. Let me see. Oh no. It's blue. Next up, we get some donuts. Look at these donuts. And you know, this kind of feels like a squishy eraser. Maybe it's a pencil. I don't know. We got this pink with these little sprinkles. And like a turquoise with this drizzle. Dorbs. Ooh, look at that. Uh -oh. Why does that look so sharp? That is like the sharpest pen I've ever seen, ever. Let's test it. <laughs> Let's test out this baby. Ooh, it's like a really, really sharp tip. Black ink. Ooh, I like it. Oh, it's like basically writing on the 
writing with a sewing needle. That's how sharp writing it is. Let's try the turquoise with the rainbow drizzle. Lushy. Ooh. They are extra donutlicious. You need donuts like this, Bubba. Can you make some? So guys, we made it through. We are onto the final little thing in this haul and it is an ice cream pen. Look how cute it is. It's got like this green ice cream. We got the cone. Ooh, and this little charm. Adorable. Oh, are you seeing this? Oh, are you seeing this? Another sharp tip pen. What's going on with that? It's green! Thing I tested it, I had no clue. I thought it would be like a black ink. It is green. Oh, how cute is that? I think she brought me a couple other colors. I have to check. Overload. Well, you little stationary teenies, the show is over. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, so many things. I can just look at this stuff all day. I'm going to pop it in the pencil cases a little bit later and organize. And I really hope you enjoyed. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.